there has been some times where I've wondered, why do I like nature and plants so much? Like, why am I such a flower person? I'm literally obsessed with gardening and flowers and nature and being outside. And we love going camping in our fifth wheel and exploring new cities and just being on the beach. And so being inside is really not in my nature. <laughs> I used to actually ask my mom, was I born outside in a barn? For real, because I will do anything to be outside. Like this is not normal for me. And so this video is just gonna be me trying to get my nature fix. So I transplanted some plants and in my window and I love plants, I love flowers, and it's just gonna be something that I always love. You know, nature, flowers, plants, photography. I'll even cut my own roses for my bath. I love nature and being outside. And so let's get started. Welcome back trendsetters. If you're brand new here, welcome. I'm a brand new DIY channel, so kind of bear with me. I do new DIYs and I'm just practicing and trying to get better every time. All right, so I had to share this really fast. This is something my husband got me from Myers, and these are air plants for Halloween time. Isn't that cute? All right, so if you missed my recent DIYs where I did these really cool, fun, you know, spring 2020 plant um, DIYs, then go check them out. All right, so this was a candle holder. Would you believe it? It was one of those like Yankee candles or something. So what you're gonna wanna do is just freeze it and then the candle will come right out. Freeze it for about eight hours. Then I just painted it. And you know me, I love lines, so I just added some lines. But yeah, so basically you wanna take your candle, freeze it, I would say at least eight hours, preferably overnight. And then the next day, it's literally gonna pop right out of your candle holder. And then you just scrub it with some soap. It'll come clean. But I thought this would be really fun as a little planter, you know, for free. So I took one of my air plants and I just put some white rocks in it from the Dollar Tree and turned it into an air planter. And I love soft pink, like it's one of my favorite colors. Doing so freed up this planner. Now this glass was from the Dollar Tree and the rope I just hot glued around. You can also get that rope from the Dollar Tree as well. And I just took one of my little succulents, gave it some water and put them in this bad boy. So that was a Dollar Tree planner. And you can take any old, you know, live succulent and put it pretty much anywhere and it's gonna live. As long as it has sun and water, it's gonna live. I mean, I have candle holders that I've turned into planners. So don't worry about killing your succulents. They're gonna live, I promise. Look how freaking adorable this is. And I can't wait till this bad boy gets big. In about a year, he'll be twice the size. I'll show you, promise, mark my words. I just love how this turned out and these were totally free because I had them laying around. And yeah, so if you have a Dollar Tree near you and you can find some succulents for a good deal, then you can make any planters you want. You can take them out and take buy one plant and turn it into like six planters, you know? You don't gotta buy a whole bunch of mini succulents, screw that. And so I was just kind of showing here that it's looking a little bit bare, but that's okay because they'll get bigger in a couple months. And I just love it. All right, let's move on. So this next frog one was getting really big and see how it gets like real crusty underneath? That means it went through a drive period. So I took the big one out and I always like to, like about once a year, mix up my plants. And so, excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> um, mix up my plants and pull the little, put the little ones in. So this one was way smaller and then I just transplanted them and put them right in. That was it. And I have dirt in there and then some moss from the Dollar Tree. And these things never die. Like I've had these plants for years and years and years. In fact, this one I'm touching right here is older than my son. So I think, I'm pretty sure Nicole gave it to me the year before I got pregnant with Brian. So 2013 Easter, that's when this plant is from. <laughs> So I was just taking off this really nasty dry part and then putting it back in. And I do this about once a year. And you know, sometimes I do go a long period without watering my plants, but I like to water them once a month. Here 
I was just kind of showing you how long the roots get inside this thing and just you know once a year I clean them up because it just looks aesthetically pleasing you know when you clean up all that crunchy stuff it just doesn't look as pretty when there's brown so I like mine to look nice and fresh and so I was just taking it right here and getting rid of all the dead things and leaves and don't worry you will not kill it and unless you put poison in it and yeah I do this once a year Look how awesome this planter is. Like, look how deep it goes. And it just kind of, all the vines just wrap around that little green part and the, and the dirt and they just, oh my gosh. This planter is at least seven years old and he's my baby and he loves it. And I can't wait for these little guys to get big. These guys just sprouted up like six months ago. I absolutely love my orchids too. I have four orchids, I used to have five, but, and so two are always live and then two are always dormant. All right, so this is another idea you could do. This was from the Dollar Tree, and I just painted it. And I'm going to plant this bad boy in, yeah, Maui sand. That was the color I used. Any color you want. I mean, you could just leave it plain because that blue is beautiful. But I wanted it to be dark to match my vibe. And so I used this wet foam. You can get this from craft stores. And if you have this stuff and you get it wet, any flower, any plant, anything you want is going to stay alive. You can't kill it, so you just kind of put the stuff in there, make a couple channels with your finger, and then just get it wet. Not too wet, like don't drown your plants, but get it kind of wet, and then, you know, you can stick your plant right in, and I swear they won't die. I will literally show you guys every, like, six months that my plants are still doing good and they're not dying. So I just took one of these little ones, root and all and stuck him right in and then I added some of my Dollar Tree like green moss stuff around it and I was done that was it super easy really fun ideas you don't have to buy new plants you can just transplant them from ones you already have and I know this video was quite long-winded and I never shut up but I love plants I love flowers I love nature I could go on and on and on and on and on so you know, I, I guess I can't apologize for it being my passion, pa you know, being flowers and plants and nature and traveling and being outside and adventure and all that kind of stuff. So these turned out really cute. And that's a candle holder right there. That turtle, that is not even a planter. I just turned it into a planter and that little plant, my plant that was in there was in there for probably two years and it never died. So you could literally use anything. You could lose a, use a freaking cup and you could turn it into a planner. So I just wanted to give some inspiration today. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you also love succulents and plants and nature and outdoors, then smash that like button. And thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.